Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll see how we can add image watermarks using Power Automate and Mohimbi Connector. This question came up recently in the Power Automate community, so I thought of quickly creating a demo. So I have logged into my SharePoint and I have uploaded an image into a SharePoint document library. The name of the document library where the image is, is the source document library. This is the image and you can see that I'm looking somewhere. So let's go to Power Automate and let's create an automated flow. So I'll click on the create button. I'll click on automated and I'll click on when a file is created in a folder trigger. Okay, so whenever a file is created, it will add an image watermark. So for this demo, I'm going to use my Power Demo site and let's select the source document library. Now, first thing that we need to do is we need to get the image content. So to get the image content, we need to use the SharePoint get file content using path action. And here you need to specify the path of the image. Remember, we uploaded the image into the SharePoint source document library, correct? So the image is here. So the path would be first select the site, navigate to the source and select the image. Next, we need to add the image watermark. So one thing to remember, Mohembi is very flexible and you can watermark PDF, DOCX, PPTX and XLSX files. Okay, so modern office documents as well as PDF. So here I'm going to add the Mohembi PDF image add an image watermark action. Here we need to specify the source file content. So source file content, content of the file to be watermarked. Okay, so I'm going to use the source file content, which is the output of the when a file is created in a folder action. Now we are going to pass in the image content. Remember, you can pass in the image content, it should be base64, or you can pass in a URL, but the URL should be anonymously accessible. If your image is in SharePoint and if you pass in the SharePoint URL, it will not work. If your image is in SharePoint, remember, pass in the file content instead. Now we leave this at middle center. We need to specify the width. So I'll specify 200 by 200. Remember, remember that this width and height are in points. Okay, so if I hit the backspace, it clearly tells me it's in point and point is one divided by 72 of an inch. Now specify the file extension, okay, source file name. Now the source file name would be the XMS file name encoded, okay, it's a tongue twister, but that is it. And we leave it at this, we leave this in the foreground, we leave the opacity as 100, and then we'll create the file back into SharePoint. So SharePoint, and then create the file. So again, I'll specify the name of the document library. I'll specify the folder path as dest. So the dest, the file name would be the output. Okay, the file name is very important. It will be the output of the when a file is created action. Okay, because in our case, it can be a DOCX, it can be an P PDF or it can be a PPTX or XLSX. So I'm going to use this file name encoded. Finally, the file content would be the output of the add image watermark action. So I'll give my flow a name, add image watermark. And now I will test my flow. Okay, so this is giving me a warning, but I make sure that my source and destination are different. So it will not go into an infinite loop. So I'll manually trigger the flow. And first thing, I'll go to the source library and upload a file. So I have uploaded a PDF file, so my flow should trigger. I think something is working, so we'll see the output in a few seconds. Yes, my flow ran. Let's hope that it completes successfully. And here you go. The flow ran successfully. I'll go to my destination. I'll open the PDF. And here you see, you have my image at the center of each and every page, okay? Now let's do another test. Let's go ahead and upload a DOCX file instead. 
So I'm going to upload a DOCX file. Now, if everything works, my flow should again trigger and we should have a DOCX file with a watermark. So the flow has triggered. So I see that the file is running. I hope that the watermark has been applied. Let's go back to the destination. Let's refresh. I'll open the file. Let's see. Yes, here you have it, right? You have an image even in the DOCX file. So here, my friends, this was a quick tutorial. I hope that this was beneficial and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.